Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today is Thursday, uh, September something, 8th, 9th, 8th, and today we're just going to kind of go around school. I got some uh, some practice later, ultimate practice, and I got fishing tomorrow, so we're going to kind of take you guys on a, a few days of my college life and uh, in a little lo vlog format. It's on my foot. All right, what should I have for the breakfast? Should I have some chili? Should I have some, uh, nope, not Italian seasoning. Probably have some Lucky Charms, that's what I'm thinking. So it is two or three days till my first A&M club tournament on Lake Somerville. Now the club tournaments in the fall are uh, pretty fun. You only fish against, I guess fishing against the guy in your boat. So the guy in the back is, is also in the tournament against all the guys in the front. And there's only four fish limits. So it's pretty fun format. Don't really like, like Somerville, but I'm sure we'll catch some fish. But I need some baits and some line. And I'm sure you guys have gotten to a situation before where before a tournament you realize, oh no, it's like two days till and I don't have the bait that I want the bait that I need, and it'll take Tackle Warehouse like a week to get it to me unless I pay $49 in shipping to get it the next day. I'm going to show you guys a solution to that problem. Enter TackleAddict.com. Can't get it to focus. There it is. This here is a tackle website out of, I think it's Livingston, Texas. Just a few, you know, an hour away from A&M. Good friends with these guys. Uh, Shane over at Tackle Addict is an awesome dude. And uh, Justin Rackley, or Lake Fork guy, works with them as well. And they are basically like the topes, the tackle warehouse of, you know, the South. And so the cool deal with them is that if you make an order in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas, I believe it is, you will get your order with free shipping no matter what the price in one day. So if you really need your baits by Saturday and you order like Thursday night, you will get your baits on Friday. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you guys in this video. Oh, uh, but I lied, actually. It's free ground shipping on orders over $50. So Tackle Warehouse does give you free, free shipping over orders over $50, but the shipping doesn't get to you in one day. Tackle Attic can get you shipping in one day if you live in the South. So uh, let's make some baits. Let's, let's make make some order. Make make a bait order. There you go. So I got some cross, some weights, and some braided line. About to make the order. And for all you skeptics out there, it is Thursday the 8th. See how the 8th is red there? That means it is Thursday. Literally one of the most important things about Tackle Addict is that if you order with the code Tyler's Real Fishing one all one word, you get 10% off your order. I completely forgot to tell you guys that, but if you do that, you'll get 10% off, so you probably should. Now that the order has been made, I've got to pack up for class. Put on my books and my Carhartt backpack and head on to campus. This is really hard to do with one hand, wow. Now it's time to get my flip-flops on because I'm still in summertime mode. So I just got home from classes, been hanging around for the first time in what must be ages. All four of the roommates are home at once. So last year I introduced them by their shirt color and their weight, which I guessed. What should I do this year? <laughs> so this here is Tyler, the other Tyler. He's in a frat. So uh, dude. dude, all right. Sean, <laughs> he drives public transportation. <laughs> I drive the bus. <laughs> and Keegan, is still throwing me on the ground every day because he weighs. Also, the new president of Texas A&M. So we're just chilling here on the beanbag chair, yep. and uh, isn't I this a fishing channel? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Where's the fish? You're the fish, Keegan. You know nothing about fishing. Ouch! What's that thing I did? It's impressive. Called when I like threw the line, but it got in all tangled up. A bird's nest? That's what it was. Oh yeah, you're good at those. Hey, comment below if we should do like a TRF versus roommate fishing challenge. I think not. <laughs> Keegan uh, says he thinks not. We should probably do some homework because that's what you do in college. And then tonight I'm going to take you guys to ultimate practice. And then tomorrow we got some fishing to do with Perry at a new pond. So we'll see you guys at practice. I haven't even stretched or ran yet. Get my stretches in. Team two. Let's go. Oh, my bad. What is that? <laughs> she still got it, by the way. Raise your hand if you feel comfortable. This guy's name is Sean. I played high school frisbee with him. What do you got to say to the subscribers, Sean? Hey, guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. 
Nice throw, okay. You heard that first. Oh, we playing? Oh, well, let's go. Yeah, I'll clear out, I'll clear out. Two, three. Oh! Yes. Nice shot, boys. Oh! I got that on camera. Sean and I got moved to the other field because we stink. Oh my goodness. Who was my guy? This guy? Yeah, he was. No. That was the worst point I've played in ages. Well, turns out that I wasn't playing too well with the chess man on, especially that last point. I had like two huge mistakes. Can't blame it on you guys, but I can blame it on the GoPro. So I'm gonna get the drone up in the air, get the drone shot. Breakfast ended, we are back at home now. Sean and the other Tyler watching the Broncos and the Panthers play. I'm gonna kinda end this part of the vlog here. Tomorrow we're gonna pick up with some fishing. I have class, and then I'm heading out with Perry, a slow motion dude, uh, his video friend, and one of my new friends, Ben, who has some sweet private lakes that we're gonna fish. So we'll see you guys fishing tomorrow. Just finished school on this Friday, and I had to get some payway because I'm really craving payway. So earlier in this video, do you guys remember when I made a tackle addict order? And I promised you that my order would come in one day. It has been less than a day, and look what showed up. Oh, you can't even see it. Nope. There it is. We got some packages from the UPS man. Thank you very much, sir. This is my box from Tackle Addict. Let's open it up. Someone said I opened it up too riskily last time, so I'm just gonna open it up. Not gonna use any crazy tools like John does. Send you with a dope hat. This one is maroon and white because they know I go to AM. Thank you, Tackle Addict, including a free hat. Tungsten weights, 50 pound Power Pro braid. The Rage Craws, you guys know that. The Jackal Cover Craw. I know Dave Mersh has been using this bait a lot, and so I thought that I would give it a try. And just a good overall punching package. And it smells great too. It smells like Japan. I have no clue what Japan smells like. Thank you to Tackle Addict for getting them to me in one day. Remember guys, if you live in the south, I know for you guys that are subscribers up in the north, this probably won't apply to you as much, but you can still order from them. It'll be the same process as Tackle Warehouse, same exact stuff, and awesome guys that work there. So yeah, make sure you order from Tackle Addict next time you want some tackle. So after an afternoon of being somewhat productive, didn't go to sleep, actually. I did not take a nap, I thought I would, but I had too much stuff to do. Got some editing done. But we are gonna head to a private pond right now. Uh, I didn't really have any good places to fish in College Station until I asked you guys. And then I have tons of responses of people that live here say, hey, come fish my lake, come fish my pond. So we're gonna head to the first private area I've fished here in College Station. He says there's tons of grass, gonna meet my buddy. And uh, see you guys at the lake. Him and Ben are down there on the lake getting it ready. We're gonna out there and catch some giants. I think, you know, I'm hoping that's the, the plan is always to catch the giants, but you never quite know if you will or not. But we're gonna give it our all, probably punch, flip some grass, and we'll see if we can hook into a big one. So we have made it out here on the water. 
About to catch some giants. That is Ben over there. He's gonna catch the giant probably because he lives around here. And then we got Perry over there. So this pond is not a giant pond. You can see we live in Agriculture County because we got some cows right, that's licking the other one. We got some cows right there. Right now, I'll show you guys my baits here in a second, but I rigged up a Texas rig and a punch rig. I'm not quite sure if the punch rig is gonna turn out well because uh, the grass to punch is like really shallow, so I doubt the fish would be in it. Um, but I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see you when we catch some fish. Water actually seems somewhat deeper over here, so I'm gonna do a little, little punching. So the punch rig's not working out as well as I'd hoped. So we're gonna go to the Texas rig uh, Strike King Game Hog. If anybody tells you that the brush hog is better than the game hog, tell them they're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. They're both great baits, but I have a lot more confidence. Thanks to my good buddy Bradley Fleming from the Texas A&M fishing team. A lot more confidence in the game hog. So we are going to chunk this thing around, try to see if we can get some more quantity of bites. I was going for the quality lately, but we're gonna go for the quantity now, just to see what's in this pond. Goodness gracious. Oh, you got one? Oh, Ben has a fish. How big? Oh, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. That is a good chunk to start off the day. Perry, let me slide on in here between me and him. Oh, that's a three. I, is it skinny? Yeah. Okay. Tell us how you caught that fish right now. Um, I was just using this big 12 inch worm, just slow rolling it and maybe stopping it a couple times. Yeah, and... beautiful fish. Oh yeah. Hold that up. Sick. All right, let's give that fish a release. Ooh, I love it. Yes. So TRF has zero fish still, update. Maybe I can snag one on the game hog. Perry has hooked up now. Yeah. Big one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, Perry one, Ben one, TRF zero. We're gonna go over there and see how big it is. Let me see. Give You're sitting a little bit deeper. Okay. You got that Cinco. I think we'll be able to get him out. Man, quality fish. Do you have Barry. pliers on you? Uh, no. Do you have pliers? Oh, Ben's got some pliers. Not near as good at fishing as I am on camera, but. Beautiful. Is that a bad fish? It's like a three? Yeah. Two, two and a half, maybe. I like it. Got one? <laughs> All right, he's hooked up again. Dinker? Oh, you lost it? Yes. <laughs> he lost it. Got the hook out. Now I think I need to attempt. A different kind of worm. Maybe I'll still keep throwing the game hog, but that's two bites to zero so far. So if it's three, I'm gonna call that a pattern and I'm gonna switch. We are now using the world's most natural power pole called land. You can buy land at a lake near you. There's a snake over here. What? There's a snake over here. What do you I just heard it rustling around. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, there's a snake back there. <laughs> All right, I've had enough of this game hog. I'm gonna switch to something else. Lake Fork Hyper Stick. Gonna see if that can get me a giant bass. So when I've been messing around on the other side of the lake trying to retie and such, then hooked another one, and I'm trying to pull me closer. What is different about, on a frog, so he's thrown over this, uh, this wall here. What's different about that? I don't think it has an eye. He doesn't have an eye. He has one eye. Yeah, that eye's good. Who knows, actually, it might be bad. Sweet, another two pounder. So now it's three to zero. TRF has zero. And uh, I gotta figure something out. I switched to the hyper stick, as you guys saw, so I'm gonna see if I can pull one out on that. But that's two fish on the frog for him and one on the worm. Man, I gotta catch some fish. Well, y'all, at least it's beautiful out here. Nice sunset. Beautiful lake. Haven't caught any yet, but it's still beautiful out here. Well, he ate the thing go too. <laughs> no, I actually switched over to this little lake fork pumpkin. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the, I'm, I'm throwing a lake, oh, the ring fry? Yeah, the little yeah. ring fry. I literally first cast, I tied it on. Sick. And just blew it up. I love it. Fish, so. Yep. So we're gonna get Perry's, hopefully not final fish, but <laughs> one, of the, one of the last yeah, fish. It's beautiful here. out here. Released, yeah, it is beautiful. Uh, I love this lake already. Best one we found in College Station. There he goes. Nice job, bud. 
Just the last one. Really? <sighs> I wonder how close I can get to him. What is up guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Me, Ben, and Perry had an awesome time fishing this lake. Now Ben, get on in here. Bring it into the end card. The camera's a little low, so you have to bend down. But, we had fun. We're gonna be fishing a lot together here in the next foreseeable future because I couldn't find any good places, and he knows all the good places, and he has a Rob hat. So oh, yeah. that makes him 10 times better. But uh, we're gonna say goodbye for now. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. You got anything to say? No, just, I outfished you. Oh, yeah. He outfished me, but you guys already know that. We'll see you next time.